Chuan here. So good stuff from Athena. Showing why she's considered by far the best Robin in our region right now. I want to say one of the best. I might be wrong, but I think she's considered like a top five Robin or top few Robins in the in the game right now. Oh really? Wow. Yeah. She was really good friends with Dap. Uh, and the only other Robins I can think of who are really relevant at a major, like I've seen Athena do really well at majors, or at least make it out of pools. Is so there's Dap and there's Mr. E from Japan. And I really can't think of any others. You're right. So yeah, yeah Athena one of those not as picked characters. Yeah, I feel like she has a lot of weaknesses that really aren't outweighed by her strength. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of characters that fit the same archetype as Robin that are just better. Like, if you think about it, Robin has a lot of the same tools and uh, options as Rob. You know, she has those, she has really good projectiles neutral, really good ledge trapping, the really powerful down throw confirm to kill, to take early stocks. And like with a vulnerable recovery and it's hard to land. Yeah. Pretty much like the same strengths yeah. and weaknesses. I feel like but Rob is yeah. just a bit stronger. A lot of the zonas were created almost the same way. Yeah. Um, they all have really good combo potential. Uh, kill confirms off of like some kind of like trap forcing you to block. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, they're easily juggable and their recoveries aren't the greatest. Okay, so Prodigy sitting down next to someone I don't recognize. It's uh, actually kinda crazy because yeah, I, I don't this is very That's strange. <laughs> That's uh, like three people in a row that I haven't ranked. So we got a Soya can. Oh, I've heard of Soya can. Okay. Uh, I think oh, from the Vast crew. Yeah, I thought he was an Olimar player. Uh, from what I've heard, he's, he's one of the better Olimars we have, but he's opting for Rosa in this matchup. It's probably because he doesn't like the matchup. Yeah, I, I can see that. Again, Cape being a really strong tool against all the projectiles in this game. Oh, but you're racking up the damage on that loop. Yeah, unfortunately not getting any launch. Yeah, but it's a, it, I think one more hit on a loom is going to kill it. Yeah, but this is Prodigy. And for those of you who don't know, Prodigy is... He's the kid. You don't sleep on the kid. Yeah. This guy, tons of wins on NorCal's best players. Uh, only... I don't want to get his age wrong. Is he 12 or 14? Or? He's 12 now. 12, yeah, yeah. He's 12 years old. One of the better players in our region. Just outside of the PR. Uh, maybe going to make it on the PR this season because of how many wins he has up inside. And yeah, that's really great to see him. You know, he tries really hard. It's just, uh, like most players uh, who aren't of age for like 21, it's hard for him to go to Foundry. And because he's only 12. Oh, great read on, yeah. great read on the roll on that, on that, getting the stock. Yeah, showing why he's considered one of the best players in our region right now. Really giving this Rosa the work. Um, yeah, he yeah. can't uh, drive, you know? Yeah, well, of course, he's four years away from driving. Uh, and the other thing I want to say that affects his play is you see a lot of younger players be really affected by their momentum in the match more than older players. So, well, Prodigy is one of the best players in the region when he has momentum. I feel like you can get discouraged, and it really changes the way he's playing the game. Yeah. Um, but uh, right now, I don't see him getting discouraged at all. Pretty decent lead right now, getting the extra credit. I think, um, because I, I had coached him a little bit at the Arcadian, and sometimes, you know, he'll ask me for help at, oh, when I'm up in there with Zach, with everybody. And it's just because, in his head, he feels pressure to, like, do well, because he, right. you know... It, a lot of eyes are on him, because yeah. of his age, especially. And like his dad takes him everywhere, and he yeah. always feels like he has to perform like super, super well. Uh -huh. and, you know, yeah, definitely a lot of pressure. Yeah, we all try to like be supportive mm -hmm. for him. We try to tell him like, you know, a loss is a loss. You yeah. gotta take it off. But you can see all of his practice hard work paying off in this match right now. Really trapping Soyan at the legend off stage, doing tons of extra credit damage on the second stock. Definitely trying to take advantage of Rosa's up B, not having a hitbox. Yep. So he's trying to cape it and reverse that because yeah. that happens. Rosa yeah. is dead. Rosa, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Definitely. All right, we got a platform pressure situation. It's gonna retreat to the ledge. Which is a smart move, I think. You know, trying to go for jab, jab, up tilt there. Mm -hmm. The blue got the, the jab pressure really good against Mario, although from what I've heard, Mario can up be out of that jab pressure and punish Rosa pretty hard. Oh, wow. But I don't know if Prodigy is aware of this. Uh, not probably going to matter right now. It's such a huge lead. Are we going to be able to see Soikan rack up the damage and make this comeback on a player like Prodigy? Especially with a character who I think is not his main. Oh, no, Mario is his main. No, 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 I'm talking about Soikan. Oh, okay. Yeah, playing Rosa over Olimar. And yeah, oh, that yeah, way. bit of a hasty air dodge there, getting nervous with his landings. I think the Prodigy wants to cape the uh, Rosalina Uppy recovery, 
I, you can tell that Sayakan is avoiding that and he's trying to recover in the way where Rosa will hit the edge of the stage and then kind of like slide up towards the Yeah, it's really hard to keep that. Yeah, so if he wants to do that, he's going to have to wait or drop a little lower. Yeah, uh, so did we see a switch or no? Okay, you're saying. Yeah, I might just be wrong. He might just be a Rosa player. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm not sure. I've never seen him play. I've just heard Solomar talk about him before. Uh, as one of the better Olimars. But okay, starting off really strong. Oh, uh, missing a grab there. That oh, was... It looks like he was waiting for the roll, and he yeah. did get a, a, a small punish, but I probably would have liked to see a grab over an up smash at his low percent. Yeah, so Soikan really taking control, even without Luma right now, getting Mario in a juggle situation. Oh, but gonna throw out that Naren back air. Oh, uh, whiffing that grab. It's gonna be rough. Yeah, both players kind of dropping their pressure right now. Is that going to be stock? No. Uh, Rosa not having one of the stronger kill throws. <gasps> and there it is, it is, exactly what he was looking for. 39% with a 102% on himself. Going to make it way harder for Zoe again to take the second game. Uh, from what I've noticed too, like Prodigy is actually one of the best players in NorCal at gimping with Mario. Oh yeah, his offstage game is yeah. scary. And he's so smart about it. Whenever he goes off to edge guard you, he's always using a rising move or a move that isn't gonna stop him from being able to come back and ledge trap you even if he misses. Um, Maybe he gets his box out of the way up. <laughs> Oh, trying to go for a reverse rage up B, I think. Uh-huh, yeah. Kill, I but... can't see the percents right now because Ian is... Ian! <laughs> uh, Ian! Oh, we, we can't see the bottom half of the screen right now. Like, Ian... I, I can see Prodigy is at about 139, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think so. Ian! Oh. We can't see the bottom half of the screen. <laughs> we can't see the bottom half of the screen. <laughs> we missed the end of the game. <laughs>